Hi there, Paul Pucas, Mosaic Insurance Alliance. Uh, thank you for stopping by our digital insurance office and taking a look at our research page here for auto insurance. There's a couple key things I want to run by you. I, I you know, move myself back away from the desk a little bit. Mike gets animated, describing to you what I feel is very important to protect you and save you some money. Um, so uh, let's get started. There's a couple things in Washington State that you want to pay close attention to uh, with your auto insurance. The first is there's quite a few folks out there that don't have it, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that later. But in this state, there's uh, minimum coverage that the state requires that you're supposed to have, and that's $25,000 of liability coverage. $25,000 is better than nothing, but it's still um, not the recommended coverage that we offer our clients. Um, doesn't mean that you can't get that type of policy because it's your policy. We do the shopping for you uh, and, and provide you with different options, but in the end it's, it's obviously your choice and, and you can decide which policy is the best fit for you. Uh, we give you options. That's the benefit of being an independent insurance agent is that we have more companies than I could remember right now to choose from um, and, and that's a benefit for you. So first thing is liability protection and that's coverage if you hurt somebody in an accident. You want to make sure that they're not going to come after you and your assets, uh, garnish your wages. Yeah, Did you know that in Washington State if you don't have enough insurance coverage when a claim happens, when you're responsible for an accident, the state can garnish up to 40% of your income up to 30 years. So if you think it's hard getting by right now on 100% of your income, imagine if the state took 40% of it and you were left with 60%. Uh, not a good position to be in. So having enough coverage, having the right coverage for how you want it, that's important. Um, Next part is going to be uh, medical coverage for you. Uh, it's called PIP or personal injury protection in this state. Um, you, we are required to offer it to you. You're not required to accept it if you don't want. Uh, it's a form of medical coverage if you're injured at all in a car accident. Now interesting to know that it also covers you even if you're walking on the street and get hit by a car. Uh, regardless of what state you're in. If you go on a trip to Florida and you're walking uh, down the beach and you're, you get hit by a car, I'm not sure why there'd be a car on the beach, but let's say there is, well, your personal auto policy here in Washington would provide coverage for you if you wanted it. Um, so, interesting to note. Next part is going to be what most people consider the full coverage part of the policy. And that's going to be your comprehensive and your collision. So let's start with collision. Collision is you run into something and your car is damaged and you want to get it fixed. So the insurance company is going to fix your car minus your deductible and uh, you're going to get you basically your new car back. Uh, collision, uh, so that's collision when you run into something. Uh, comprehensive would be anything other than collision. So flood damage, theft, vandalism, your car spontaneously combusts in your driveway. Well, that would be uh, comprehensive coverage. And again, the insurance company is going to replace your vehicle or fix it, uh, minus the deductible. Moving on, you've got uninsured motorists. And this is something that I mentioned uh, earlier on would be an important topic, and we're circling back on it now. Because there's a lot of people that have no insurance or low coverage of insurance, low limits of insurance, it's important for you to consider uninsured motorists in case you're hit or injured by someone without insurance or without enough insurance. Then your policy would kick in. Very important. Following that, you've got some uh, optional coverages. Uh, kind of the three basic optional coverage would be um, rental car reimbursement, um, emergency roadside service, uh, those are the two big ones, uh, and then it's like emergency expenses. Uh, so rental car coverage, let me just touch on that one real quick. A lot of people are like, well, you know, 
I've got another car at home, or I'll use the wife's car or the, the husband's car. Um, I'll, I'll take the car from my kids and they have to walk to school, whatever. Um, that doesn't always work in everyone's best interest. And most people are very shocked uh, at how disruptive their life is when they don't have a car that's readily available to them. So those are a couple things I want to point out about auto insurance. There's a lot more to know. You don't have to know it. We do. That's why you talk to us because we are your trusted advisors here at Mosaic Insurance Alliance. You can count on us to do the job for you. You can trust us to do the job for you. And uh, you're lucky you found us because we're the home of the sharpest pencil in town. Talk to you later. Bye.